guys, what's up and welcome back to another video. As for the scent of the day, I have my scentsy going right there. And it's still the same candle in there, which is angel's wings. And I also am using patchouli incense. And kind of funny, I don't really like the smell of patchouli, but the incense is, is really where it's at. It smells really good. Thank you for being here today and take a moment to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you'll never miss anything interesting and if you did not know I do post on Instagram and Reddit every single day so if you like new daily updated content be sure to go follow me over on there for today's video we're gonna be doing an overview and the tutorial on this Hank and Henry palette if you're into that and you want to see how to make a look with using this palette then stay tuned so quick fact of the day if my face looks shiny to you is because it is. For some reason I thought it would be a good idea to use my Cover FX glitter drops and put them all over my face. I took my foundation, mixed in a whole bunch of glitter drops, and then just applied it. So my face is very sparkly and to be honest with you I love it. So if you're wondering what I am wearing on my face be sure to check the description box because I list everything that I am wearing down below. Let's just jump right into the overview. Here's the palette of the week, and this is the Hank and Henry Living in Color palette. And you can see it's quite bulky for it being so small. The shade names are listed for you on the back. This is Hank and Henry's first ever palette that they released. So when you open it up, here's what it looks like inside. And I'm going to insert some quick swatches right now for you. And as you can see, we have nine shadows in this palette. And in this palette, we have four mattes, one metallic, which is right here. And the other shimmer shadows are called finger foils, but they apply kind of like a topper shadow. So it's like a shimmer shade without a deep base pigment. Now the matte formula, I had no trouble working with. It's a pretty decent matte formula. I did like it. The metallic formula is not very impressive. It's kind of exactly like the finger foil, so I don't really know why it's differentiated. And the finger foils are meant to be applied with your finger. So if you use a brush, it's a very quick way to be disappointed. This palette costs $25, and I will insert the amount per shadow right here. And according to my scale, that's on the affordable end. The palette is based on the late 90s and early 2000s MySpace era. And all these shades are made to be one swatch over your eyelids. And you can wear one shade and be done with your look. Or you can create an artistic look with, you know, all the colors. That's just Hank and Henry's inspiration for creating this palette. Personally, I'm not really feeling this color story and after using it, I don't really care for this palette so much, so I would not recommend this palette. And after this tutorial, I am going to be decluttering this from my collection. If you have this palette, let me know how you feel about it and let me know your experience with it down in the comments below. Let's get right on into the tutorial. All right, guys, be honest with me here. You have to tell me, am I the only weirdo that keeps all these plastic sheets to keep on my palettes? I do it for every single palette. And if I don't have one, I feel like I'm missing out. I Like, I need to keep these. First step, as always, is prep work. So we're going to get right on into Revlon Candid Concealer as our eyeshadow primer. And just dot that all over the eye and... Oops, I already have concealer on, but in general, you're gonna wanna take it under the eye, but um, I just made a boo-boo. I hope it blends over powder. I think that's all right. Today's look is called a sharp outer corner, and this will be my second time doing this look, so 
I'm not really experienced with it, but it's really fun to do. And it's bold. Okay, like always, Marc Jacobs Highliner, upper waterline. The first brush you wanna grab is an eyeliner brush. So I'm gonna go dig mine out and I will be right back. What? Oh, it's like impossible to find any brushes in this thing. I need to figure out a better system for my brushes. Here's the only eyeliner brush that I have and it's by Juvia's Place and it's this double-ended eyeliner brush and I actually do not like this brush. I'm gonna look for another eyeliner brush online relatively soon and see what I can find. This one's just too thick. We're going into the brown shade and this palette produces a lot of kick up so make sure you knock it off by tapping your brush on the palette just like that just so you don't get an explosion of shadow all over your eyelid. The first thing that we're gonna do on the eye is draw our outer corner structure. So you can start kind of like where your arch is and your eyebrow and just put a little dot there. Just like that. Now, you gotta think about where you want the corner to be. So I like to take mine past my eyebrow. So I'm gonna put another dot like over here. So see, I got two dots right there. Now, um, you're gonna want to take the shadow and put a dot on the corner of your under eye. Like that. And now we just play a game of connect the dots. there is my sharp outer corner that's just the shape that's all we're doing right now so go ahead and do your other eye there we have it so now we're not done we're still drawing the shape so keep your eyeliner brush in hand and move into the middle burgundy shade now you want to take that from about a quarter inch from the inside of your eye and draw a dot right here. When I look straight on ahead, my dot's barely visible, so I'm gonna take that a little higher. And again, you just wanna connect this dot to the shape we already drew. The last shade that we're going into is the matte blue. And now this one's really powdery for some reason. Place a dot from your tear duct. Like so, right there, see my dot? And we're gonna connect that dot to the line we just drew. Also, don't be concerned about fallout because you will get fallout with this palette. We'll take care of that in the end. Okay, now is the fun part. We get to fill this baby in. Take any shadow brush that you want. I'm just using my black opal detail brush and I like to start with the brown section and just fill in the brown section. Now once you have the brown section filled in, move on to burgundy. And don't worry about blending anything in yet. Just put on the colors. You're done filling in the burgundy. Go ahead and fill in the blue. This is how we are looking right now. But now we have to do some blending. So let's start with the blue to burgundy. 
So take a little, mix a little bit of the blue and burgundy on your brush, just dip into both shades. And in between the two shades, just soften that line with your brush. All right, now we gotta work on the burgundy to brown. Dip into both the brown and the burgundy on your brush. And again, soften the line in between both the shades. Now you wanna grab a fluffy brush and I'm using the Jessup 244. And you want to make little teeny circles around this upper shape. We still want to be a bold structure line but you just want to blur out a little bit of the edge. That's how it should look when you're done blending. It should look still structured, but a little bit blurred. The next step is to go back into your eyeliner brush and go into that burnt orange shade and coat your brush with it. And what we're gonna do with this is we're going to gently outline the top of the shape with the orange. When you're done outlining, take your fluffy brush and just go over that gently, just to soften it up slightly, but you don't want to blend it away. Next, take a flat shadow brush and go into the light teal shade. And we're gonna put that on the front half of our mobile lid. Has everybody been having a good weekend? I just finished um, knitting a purse. It was fun, but I never did it before, so there were a lot of hiccups. Now when you're done with that teal shade, go into the other blue shimmer, which is like um, a dark blue almost, and we're going to put that on the outer half of our lid. If you have a copper eyeliner, this is the time to take it out. And if you don't have one, then use a bronze or a brown or something close to copper. And what we're gonna do is stick this on our waterline. Before we start working on our lower lash line, you're gonna want to clean up the fallout. So I just like to use micellar water with a Q-tip and kind of saturate the tip of this and just dab it on the fallout. If you happen to go overboard with the Q-tip and micellar water like I did, just apply some, a few dots of concealer and blend it out. For this next step, I like to take a small angled brush like this and we're going back into the brown. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go from mid center of our eye and connect it to the top. Are you ready for this next part? This is my favorite part of the whole look. We're gonna jump into the copper now. So take that copper and start from your inner corner and meet up with the brown. Last but not least, because I can't get enough of this copper, we're gonna take that copper and put it in our inner corner. So let me put on my mascara and I will be right back to show you the finished look. All right, so here it is. Here's the finished look with mascara added. And if you wanna see it with lashes, I will link to the tutorial from Saturday down below in the link section. So be sure to check that out. And as always, if you have any recommendations for palettes that you do want to see tutorials and reviews on, please be sure to let me know by leaving me a comment below or messaging me. And that is all I have for you today. So if you like this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you didn't like this video, 
just give me a thumbs down. And until next time, bye!